Hi, this is Alex from Toyota Education, and I'm going to take you through a couple of steps with the range selection tool in Steinberg's Cubase. Now, if I look at the screen here, we have the arrangement window. I bought in a couple of loops from the media bay on the right. Um, just for demonstration purposes, it's just, just a couple of techno loops, a couple of hi-hat things. And um, I just want to demonstrate a couple of things that you can do with the range selection tool. So if you hit the number two on your keyboard, it will take it to the range selection tool where you can select a range of different audio or MIDI events. Now, what you can start off doing, if you select a bunch of events like that, you can hold the Alt and copy them. You can go to Command D and duplicate them. That's just the first couple of things that we can go through, one for a single track and one for multiple tracks as well. If you select one, what you can do is grab this icon here and just drag it all, all the way down, dependent on how many tracks you have, of course. So, if I just very quickly zoom in on a track by, by pressing Z, I'll make a small selection and I can make a split there. Literally just by hitting the number two, using your, your key command, I personally have Shift X, to split an audio clip, but um, you can you can assign it to whichever key command you want. The most important thing here is that you can use your range selection and split it just like that. It's a very quick process, and when you get into actually doing it fast in sessions, then it really becomes a very useful tool. So obviously this is dependent on the snap or not. So if I press J, that will turn off the snap. I can make more free choices as to where my selection is, or if I want to be a bit more precise on the bar, then I can obviously activate the snap and do it from there. Now, this isn't only on individual regions and multiple regions, you can also do this on folders as well. So if, so if I select all of these, go Command Alt F to, to create a folder. I'll rename this drums. And if I close this, you can then from here, do a range selection on the folder and copy it over. You can do a range selection and delete it there if you want. This is extremely useful when you have a lot of different tracks. So I'll show you an example. I'll, ju ju just, I'll bring in a whole, whole load of tracks, whole load of effects. I'll just do it like this on different tracks. Okay. Just running it through now just for demonstration purposes. So if I have all of these, all of these tracks here, Say this is my arrangement. I'm gonna just just fold this up, cool this bass. I know it's not bass, but just for demonstration purposes. Here's guitar. We'll have vocals here, although it's not actually vocals, but okay. So we have all of these here. Now, if I wanted to get get rid of all of that in the arrangement, I can do it like that. Move this back. And then say if that's that's my verse, I can I can split it by going Shift X and just Alt and copy it over. So this is a very useful tool uh, for whole arrangements if you want to use them and duplicate them or copy them over or do anything like that with, with multiple tracks and folders. You can use the range selection tool and move them over like so. So it's a super super useful feature for that stuff. So you can also use keyboard shortcuts alongside the range selection tool as well. So if I just highlight a range, I can use my command button and my arrows to just move in between different sections. I'll zoom it in for you, just so you can see. So we got it like that. Just move it along and maybe split it if you want, or I can use my Alt key to stretch it. So these are very much the same one that I use in my MIDI editing features, but you can also do it in the arrangement window with the range selection tool. So very quick feature, very useful. Say if you are just off by one bar, you can literally just shift it by there and just do your range or your splits or your copying from there. So um, quite a small feature, but very useful in the workflow enhancements. And um, also, yeah, it will hopefully just speed up your general work. So this feature is optional, which can change in the preferences. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to go to Cubase, then preferences in the, the editing window, tick the cycle follows range selection tool. So every time I use the range tool now, it will, both of my cycle markers will, will follow that. So say if I wanted to just loop one section very quickly, I could do so by just going like that, obviously activate the loop and then go from there. If I want 
to, to do that section if then I can. That this is a bit more of a weird one because it's it's really it's dependent on your workflow. I personally d d don't use it as much, but if I had to loop a couple of vocal takes or things like that, I would often use this feature just for that that application. But it is very useful if you need to just quickly cycle and loop in between certain sections. So you can activate that by going to Cubase, then preferences, then cycle follow range selection. So it's important to note here that this range selection tool is not only applicable to audio and MIDI events, it's also applicable to automation, it's also applicable to tempo mapping, it's applicable to global, global cases. So for example, I'll create a couple of marker tracks, or one marker track, sorry, a tempo track, a signature track, and say if I just had these at the top of my session, I'm gonna drag them up there. Say if I made a couple of tempo changes, like so. See, I can then use the range selection tool by hitting two and going like so. And I can copy that, I can get, get rid of it. I can do lots of different things with, with changing it or just moving it around in the session, which could be very useful if you need to change a tempo very quickly or something or, or duplicate, or if you have lots of tempo changes, then you can can manage that through this range selection. So, um, so as well as all of those other things, the global copy, all of those different things, we've also can use it for automation. So if I just go on a track, go on my automation, and if I draw some in like so, if I really like this particular bit of automation on this, this part, I can literally use my range selection and drag it over like so. It's an incredibly useful, quick feature, and once you get into the hang of just hitting the number two on your keyboard and just doing it like so, then it will be very, very quick workflow feature, which I find very, very useful in my own personal workflow. So not only with audio uh, MIDI events, but also with tempo tracks, with, with automation, with global copying, with cycle markers, it's a very, very underrated tool in Cubase, and I think that once you get the hang of it, you can really speed up your workflow with it. So that was on the range selection tool in Cubase. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like what we do, subscribe, hit the bell button, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.